What's up y'all, it's the Project Photography back with another video and today people, today we have kind of a different topic that I want to talk about other than my Nikon Z and just landscape photography, just POV stuff in general. I kind of want to talk about making landscape photographer as a career from a professional photographer's perspective. So if you guys know or may not know, I actually run a company called Co-op Content Design where we do you know, brand management, website design, social media, as well as content creation, so photo, video, and it's just been really interesting running this business because it definitely hasn't been easy. It's given me a much more different perspective into running a business and what that entails. And when I think about landscape photography, it isn't necessarily a niche that I think a lot of people can see turning into a business. It's not like wedding photography or food photography or a portraiture for that matter, where there's a lot of different avenues to actually make money from it. Landscape photography is just a very different niche that I don't think people necessarily consider making money from. But that's kind of what I want to address in this video because I feel like because people don't think about making landscape photography a career, is it actually possible to do so? In short, I think the answer is yes. I didn't say it was going to be easy to actually do it, but I think it is possible. And there's a few different avenues that people can actually go through and do this. So that's kind of what I want to break down in this video, just some of those different avenues and ideas that I think people can translate into actual businesses. The first one is pretty simple. I think selling prints of your landscape photography is a really easy one to do. It's probably one of the more difficult ones if you're trying to build it up yourself, mainly because it's hard to actually find a group of people that are willing to pay for landscape photography prints. So when I've actually done it in the past, I was able to sell it, but I was mainly selling it to my friends and family. And getting outside of that box is very difficult because for someone to actually buy your print external to actually you and your inner circle is not that easy to do. But of course, you could actually do things like go to art fairs and go to these different farmers markets to actually sell products and produce and so forth and sell your prints there. It's to get up front of a broader audience and then sell your prints that way. But also another way you could actually do that is by building up an audience of people that enjoy your landscape photography because they simply enjoy your work. And you can do that through social media and so forth. I think Instagram is a great platform for that. TikTok, all the, pretty much any social media in general is a great way for building that up. But things like that take a lot of time and take a lot of energy and take a lot of resources for you to actually create those videos or those images that wow people and excite people and look forward to your actually next set of images. And I think especially now in today's age where we see more and more people coming up with more and more incredible images, the competition has gotten really fierce, especially on social media where posts don't even do that well anymore relative to reels. So it's a really interesting environment to actually sell prints, but that is definitely a business model that is available to someone if they wanted to make landscape photography their career. And I think another really good way to actually make money with landscape photography is to actually go to cities, first of all, because they have a lot of open spaces, a lot of parks that actually need some landscape photography for their marketing purposes and so forth, or for places like state parks or one place that I thought was really interesting would be golf courses actually, because if you look at some of these photos here, I took this with my phone, so clearly no cameras, but you can actually get some really incredible views at golf courses and you might not necessarily be like, yeah, I want to go shoot golf courses, but it is like an area that you can actually go shoot landscape photography. It requires the same principles, it requires a lot of the same thought process and so forth to actually capture those images. So I mean, that could definitely be an option if you're into landscape photography and so forth. But I think going to cities and offering that service is definitely doable because that's what we did at our company actually. We went to my local hometown, I actually made a video about it over here, but we offered to essentially shoot their open spaces as pretty much landscape photography and then they can use it for their marketing purposes to you know, showcase how beautiful the city is or so forth. And I think you know that would be a really interesting option and definitely more achievable than I think a lot of people would think. But doing actual landscape photography and making that your full-time business, you would really have to find enough people essentially or people that have that sort of need in order to essentially make a living off of it. Because you know, making a living off of landscape photography, you're gonna have to have much more volume in terms of the dollar amount that you actually sell. Simply put, it just won't be that easy to find those clients. It's a very, very specific niche, but I do think it is doable. And honestly, the last option that I think to me is probably the most uh, attainable, most viable, is utilizing your skills as a landscape photographer. So we're just talking about, you know, composition, lighting, the gear that you have, and translating it into another niche of photography that requires those same skills. So for me personally, 
I actually did a lot of real estate photography and back in the day, especially during 2020 when, you know, the pandemic kind of shut everything down. You know, that is a really interesting niche of photography because it's very similar to landscape photography, actually architecture as well as real estate, because a lot of the composition techniques are actually very similar to landscape photography. And I was actually able to translate that very quickly and very efficiently. And I think the thing about real estate photography is that there's actually a very wide, broad section of people that are gonna need those type of images, especially realtors and folks that are selling houses on the open market. So for me, those are the three main viable ways to actually make landscape photography a career. You might even do just some sort of variation of all three of those. So you could start with real estate and sell your prints on the side and do some sort of landscape photography for cities or open parks and so forth. I just think that when it comes to photography, your portfolio of work does need to be a little broad because I think that the people that are actually gonna be needing these services are much more limited than something like weddings or portraits and so forth. But I do think it's possible because for me, I have seen a need for landscape photography or landscape prints in general. And the thing is, I don't think it's necessarily a super broad group of people that are gonna be needing these sort of services, but it is definitely out there. And if there's a need for it, there is a job for it that someone can fulfill and that person could be you. So yeah, I do think landscape photography relative to the other niches of photography would be definitely a much more difficult niche of photography to make a career, but it is definitely possible. So yeah, guys, that is essentially what I think about making landscape photography a career. Let me know if you'd be interested in hearing more about the business side of photography because I have so many ideas for videos that I would love to make, honestly, because for me personally, when I was growing up, going through college, I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do. I just knew that I wanted to make landscape photography my career. And I had a lot of anxiety over like whether or not I actually wanna make it a career or what I should even do or how I even get started. And it wasn't until later that I kind of figured out like, okay, this is how you move forward, starting a business and running a photography thing and so forth. So if this is something you guys wanna hear, please feel free to let me know down in the comment section down below because I am very passionate about entrepreneurship and businesses and especially allowing people to open up and be free and do what they want with their lives. So yeah, let me know down in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for experiencing the world with me today. Please feel free to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.